this is without doubt the most effective bunker technique I know. You'll get out first time every time, and not only first time every time, you'll get it close to. Now, as you know, this channel is powered by you, the viewers, and there's been a host of questions all about bunkers. There might be some questions on here that you will not have thought of before, and it could be game changing for you to hit shots just like that. Golfers have been asking, how open should my face be? What is the ball position? How wide should my stance be and where should my weight be at address? Where do I look when contacting the ball? And what is the style of release? Now, that where do I look one will actually get you thinking because you will not expect the answer I'm gonna give you, but it'll seriously make sense. First question, how open should my face be? Now, this is the rule of thumb I want you to use. Hold it up in the air and look at this in player cam. Imagine the toe of your golf club's pointed at 12. All I want you to do is open it to 12.05, okay? If you're left-handed, you'll be turning that to 11.55. So you're gonna open it and then put your hands on. Don't make that fatal error of square grip, then open. That doesn't work, absolutely doesn't work. So it's up, open, hold, that's how open the club face should be. Next question was asked, like, what's your ball position? Where should it be? So dig those feet in first, really making sure that you've got a stable base. Ball position wants to be a club head inside your front foot. That might be strange for a lot of you, but a club head inside your front foot. Have a look at this in player cam. That's how I want you to build your stance around that club head inside your front foot position. That helps you sort of cushion that ball up and out onto that green. That is key. Number three on our list is what should our stance be? Where should our weight be? So I like golfers, remembering that ball position, to have a really wide stance. So look at that, much wider than my shoulders. Now I like this because it almost locks the lower body in. We don't need too much of these hips moving. And the wider you get your stance, the more you lock it in. So dig those feet into the sand, get that solid base, and this is absolutely essential. We need you to go down, down. And when you do that, imagine your belt buckle and your hands are attached, so you let them both go down together. Now have a look at this in player cam, look what this does to your club face. It starts to point way more back to target and not as to the right. Sit down and weight left, 70, 30. That's where we keep and anchor our weight throughout, exactly there. Okay, this next point is our absolute key point. That point number four, where do we look? Now, have a look at this here, we're coming close. I'm gonna use these Vice Pro Plus golf balls that I use just to illustrate. You don't need colors, but I, you know what? I really recommend these because bright colors stick out when you're chipping, stick out when you're on the fairway, and definitely stick out when you're on the sand. And you know what, if you're wondering when you go through this whole process, how do you find the golf ball for you? Just do what I did. I went on the website, okay, filled out what ball I was currently using, and the Pro Plus came out, and I'm enjoying these bright balls. Okay, so we've got our ball we're gonna hit, okay? That's gonna be our red, let's say. I want you to grab your other golf ball, the green, and we're gonna put a dimple in the sand, one golf ball behind. That is where I want you to look, that is where I don't want you to look. So I want you to imagine you're hitting and concentrating one golf ball behind, getting the sand and cushioning it out. We're not trying to hit the ball. We don't wanna hit any ball at all. So the trick to this drill is make your imprint, put it in your pocket, hit the imprint. So the beauty of this drill is, you just pick your ball out, you imagine where the green one was, that's where you're gonna focus, that's where you're gonna look. I'm not even looking at the golf ball, I'm looking that ball back of that. That was the best one a lot. Get in, oh, got the spin on it too. Okay, final point, what's the release? What is the release? Now this is the bit we need to understand, we need to be putting speed under it this way speed under it this way. So all I want you to do is grab your club in your right hand. Actually, grab your club in your dominant hand. So if you're left-handed, your left hand, right hand and your right hand. I'm right-handed, so what I do is I make some practice swings, feeling as though as I come to impact, I'm letting this shaft unhinge back to the ball 
and then pointing back at me. This is what I'm trying to get the feeling of. You'll notice as I'm doing this, my lower half is staying really solid. I'm letting the club swish past me. And our goal is to have that loft pointing straight back at me. Now I'll have a look at this in the left hand. This will look very much like this. A lot of cupping of the left hand to get this loft pointing back at you. So really practice that. Be fluid, relax that grip pressure and just copy what I can see there. Have a look at what my wrists are doing on that player cam view. That is what we're trying to achieve. You can stand there then, put it all together. Up, open, sit, ball position, stay in, look behind, get the release. That's gotta be in. Oh, you can get that too guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out the Vice Gold Balls just like I am using.